Portland County police are looking for some thieves tonight. A woman stole a wig from a store that specializes in helping cancer victims. Ross Gadotti has more on this story. This is Wigs and More in Lake Trobe. For more than two decades, the folks here have gone about trying to help women who are undergoing some of the worst times of their lives dealing with illnesses and other issues. Recently, a woman came in claiming to be a customer and saying that she had cancer. Well, state police say they're not sure whether she, in fact, is a cancer victim, but they're pretty sure she is a thief. Beth Howells, a longtime employee at Wigs and More, and when the two men and young woman you see on this surveillance tape walked in, Hal knew something was up. I had a, a weird feeling from the start. The woman said she was very sick and needed a wig. She said she had brain cancer. She started pulling wigs off of the shelves to try on. But it quickly became apparent to how, in addition to a wig, the woman needed to get her story straight. She did say that she was from Apollo, and then all of a sudden she was from Avonmore, which are two separate towns, not even close to each other. The woman's male friends, meanwhile, kept trying to get Howell's attention. The two gentlemen were trying to distract us. This says the woman was changing hairstyles by the second. And she was fluffing them up and fixing them and pushing them off to the side. She just grabbed two of the long ones off the top shelf and she didn't even look for colors or anything. Within moments, the victim customer was all done. And she said none of them worked and they were out the door. Ladies come in here and sometimes spend upwards of two hours picking the perfect wig. And it turns out the customer had, in fact, picked a wig all right. And we were short a wig, and it was a $400 long blonde wig. Just like the one the alleged ailing customer had been modeling. We could have helped her. She didn't have to steal a wig. Now, if you happen to recognize any of the individuals in that surveillance video, state police want to hear from you. In Latro, Ross Gadotti, KDKA-TV News.